Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an automated crypto trading bot on the Mudrex exchange utilizing the Ichimoku Cloud Cross strategy. And the exchange will be Binance US trading the ETH USD pair on the one hour interval or one hour candle. So recently Binance informed a lot of traders in the US they needed to remove their funds from Binance and move it to Binance US or another exchange. And so one of my Binance trading accounts did get flagged. And so I've had to close that down and, and move those funds to another exchange. So before we get started, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it is a platform that allows you to create and build your own crypto trading bot strategies. And you can actually get started for $0, that's right, free. And I'll put a link down in the description below. And if you actually use that link, you'll get a $25 bonus for signing up through that link that you could actually apply to step up to their premium membership. As you see, I do have the premium membership. And to me, that's a good investment as unlimited back tests and the one minute tick interval make the $16 pretty much a no brainer. And with that being said, let's get to building out the strategy. So the first thing you'll need to do once you have registered with Mudrex is go to your account and set up your API keys. So you just click on your username, exchange API keys. And I occasionally see questions of can Mudrex steal my money off of the exchanges? First off, let me say, I have had video conference calls with the folks at Moodrex. They're real people. They're legit. Also, they don't have access to your funds. Your funds are not leaving your exchange when the bot executes buys and sells. It's all done through an API key on the exchange. So your money is safe as it can be on an exchange. And so you will need to find your exchange from the list of exchanges. And the folks at Mudrex did reach out to me to let me know they are looking to add more exchanges. For us in the US, honestly, the only viable exchange probably is Binance US as Coinbase Pro. The fees on Coinbase Pro will bleed you out and really not a realistic exchange for crypto bot trading. So right now we're really kind of stuck with just Binance US. So the folks over at Mudrex know they need to add more exchanges and they have told me they're working on it. So let's get to adding a key. And you can see I already have my Binance and my Binance US keys added, but I'll go ahead and start the process. You just click on the add key button and select the exchange and you can name the API key and then you're ready to add your API keys. You'll need both your key and your secret key. And to get that, you would jump over to your exchange and in this case, Binance US, you would just hover over your user icon, go down to API management. And from there, you need to be on the API management tab and you would go to create API and you just, name it, hit create, and then you'll need to put in your codes. They'll send you an email. I'm not gonna go through all those steps, but it's extremely simple to do. You just copy and paste your API keys and you will need both the API key and the secret key. This will be exposed when you first create it. And you can copy and paste that over here into your API keys. So I'm not actually gonna go down that road as I've already set mine up and I'm ready to go. So let's get to building out this bot. And so from the strategies tab, I need to click new strategy and I'm going to be actually using the visual editor and that will land on your dashboard here that's basically click and drag. So I need to add a box over here for buy and sell and the boxes are like your indicators, your compare, trend or volume or price, there's a lot of options to build out that bot. And so I'm going to actually use the compare since I'm looking for the crossing of baseline and conversion lines of the Ichimoku cloud. And so I would just simply click, drag and drop the box and then drag the arrow over to and connect to the buy button. And from there I need to configure 
the actual indicator compare box and my indicators will be the Ichimoku cloud. And so I would be comparing the conversion line. And before we get into the weeds on this, let me show you on a chart what I'm looking at. So we'll jump over to the trading view. Here's Ethereum, Tether on the one hour on the Binance exchange. And the two lines you see represented here are the Ichimoku cloud conversion line, which is the blue line and baseline, which is the yellow line. And if I drop down and look at the actual settings, my inputs are 18, 52, 104, and 30. Now, if you ask, where did I get those settings? Actually, one of my very loyal viewers, John, recommended these settings and we've run with it and have had some pretty good success with it. The default numbers you will see when you load this indicator are 9, 26, and 52, and 26. And then your style, I have actually shut off the lagging span, the leads, and the plot, the background. And that's what actually makes up your cloud. That's a lot of unnecessary noise. So I have actually shut those all off. And therefore, I end up with my conversion line and my baseline, which are the two lines that I actually care for for this strategy. And what I'm looking for on this strategy is the blue line, which is my conversion line, crossing up above the yellow line, which is my baseline. And that should indicate the trend is reversing into an upward trend. As you can see, we had happen right here in the middle of the screen on ETH USDT. It crossed and it had a nice run up. Now we had a big sell off. The lines didn't cross, but what I'm actually looking for for an exit strategy is the blue line, the conversion line to cross down through the baseline, the yellow line. And that would indicate that our upward trend has reversed and therefore we want to get out and let that run down until the next opportunity to enter on an upward trend. And we've gotten pretty close. The lines are getting close. But the good news is we didn't get stopped out on this flush, which turned into a V-shaped recovery. And now we're kind of chopping sideways. So we would still be holding a winning position from this entry. And we might get a better exit if this continues sideways long enough. We may see this crossing and we'll take a better exit than we would have had, say, down here if we exit up in here somewhere. You can see a similar situation back here where the blue line crosses above the yellow line. Price action runs up, gets close, but doesn't actually get stopped out. And it runs up and then eventually, as the price turns over, we get stopped out up here. Again, we avoided this flush, stayed in the position to capture the rest of the move up. And then once it really got weak, we got out back up here when the blue line crosses. So we we're able to ride this all the way up. And when it rolls over, we get out. And those are two perfect examples of what we're looking for out of this strategy. So with that being said, let's get back to building out our strategy. And so I want my conversion line, which was the blue line that you saw earlier, crossing up through the baseline, which was the yellow line. And then my parameters are going to be the line, the Ichimoku lines, which are those two lines. And then my advanced parameters are going to be double the defaults. So if you look at what the defaults are, we're going to go 18, 52, 52, 104 and then the lagging is not actually double it's just 30 and I need to set that up for both sides and then everything else stays the same we click OK and I now have that set up ready to go and then I also need to edit this by line as well and I can do that by clicking on the line clicking on the pencil and open long positions we're not going to use it to close short positions and I'll name this buy. And so now you can see it's only open long positions. Okay, now that I have the buy side set up, I need to set up the sell side. And to set up the sell side, I could again just drag this box over and drop it. But 
because I'm basically going to be using similar settings off of this particular box. I'm just going to duplicate the box by clicking on the icon right there. Drag my arrow and connect to the cell side and go in and edit these settings. And now what I want it to do is the conversion line crossing down through the baseline. And that is basically now the price is rolling over and starting down and crossing through that baseline. And the reason I copied it over is all these settings actually stay the same. So now I just click OK. And from there, I'm going to edit what this box is actually able to do. I don't want it to open shorts and I don't want it to reverse open long to short. I just want it to close long only. So we'll click OK and we'll label this and now we have only close long only open long and from there I could add a stop loss and in this case I could do a percentage say like 4% uh, but I have found that with this particular strategy I don't actually need to run the stop loss as the cell box actually works perfectly for when the momentum has changed and the price is starting to roll over. I could also add the take profit option and add a percentage of say 20%. If it hits 20%, let's go ahead and take profit. Or I could do trailing. So once it hits 20% and retraces a certain amount, say 2%, it would actually then stop me out and take that profit. However, again, the idea behind this strategy is to work off of what these two boxes are indicating. The buy indicates that the momentum's moving up. The sell side is showing us that the momentum is starting to roll over and move down, and they perform well together. So now that I've named it, I just named it Ichi X. We'll hit save. And now we can backtest by just clicking the backtest button down here at the bottom. And I'm doing Binance US. You have a drop down a choice of your different exchanges. Uh, market or my quote currency is going to be USDT. And then my asset again is going to be ETH. And we're going to be trading the one hour candles. And then we click start back test. And this will take a moment and you'll see that we get our results and we can dive into those results. And so the results from October 2019 to December 1st, 2020, we had decent results, but the reality is this bot works better under our current market conditions. And so I'm going to change to three months and recalculate my results. And from there, for the past three months, from September to December, you can see the monthly returns were 16%. And we actually would have overall returns for the three month period of 68%, almost 70%, which would have outperformed the market, which is really your goal of a bot is to outperform the market. Otherwise, you could just buy and hold if the market is going to outperform your bots. Now, a couple other items you want to look at as far as the stats go are going to be the sharp ratio. Now, what is the sharp ratio? The sharp ratio is kind of like your risk versus reward equation. And you can see that's almost a four. And in reality, anything over one is considered acceptable. I prefer the numbers to be over two. And in this case, we're almost double that. Profit factor is a similar equation, but it is your gross profit divided by your loss, gross loss. And in this case, it's at four and a half. And again, anything over one is considered acceptable. I prefer the number to be over two. And as you can see, we're double that number again as well. And I already touched on the overall returns versus the market, which is fantastic. My largest winning trade was 21%. My largest losing trade was 5%. That's also acceptable. And then the other two factors, which to me are very important and help you figure out your risk versus reward on this particular bot, is my average loss percentage, which we're looking at just over 2%, and my average profit percentage. And that is going to actually work out to be a one to three risk versus reward ratio. I look for a minimum of a one to two, and in this case, I'm getting a one to three ratio. So 
overall i would be very happy with this bot and if you're looking for a high frequency trading bot that's in and out a lot this isn't for you um, if you're looking for action this bot isn't for you over the three month period we only saw 19 trades so if you're an action junkie this bot is not going to be for you and if we scroll down a little further you can see the chart my bot is the solid line and the dotted line is the market and you can see we never moved below the market we were always outperforming the market throughout that three month period and then you can look at the actual trades uh, it still has one open position as you kind of saw on the chart i showed you earlier that position would still be open and it's at a 19 percent win uh, and if you got froggy and decided you want to jump out of the trade you could actually when you're in a live trade close out that trade manually and then you'll see that my losses are fairly small and there's the largest loss we saw but again we see bigger wins like 12 percent 21 percent and that's what we're really shooting for in the long run i can stomach small losses but i want my wins to be bigger than my losses and with all that information we're really ready to deploy this bot so in order to do that, I would just go to live trades and set it up on Binance US, USDT, ETH, one hour interval. And if you're a little more cautious, you could paper trade. I'm actually familiar with this strategy, so I'm ready to jump right into live fire. So now I just start live trade and it's going to ask for the api key which we set up and so i need to give it some ammo so i'm going to bump this to 500 usdt and so now we're ready to go ahead and click next and my fee for the december month is zero so pay now i think i can afford zero we'll hit pay and we've got a live bot trading and if i click on this icon over here it will show me the details of how this bot is performing and obviously I don't have any data yet as we just activated it. So I will be doing an updated video on its performance. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. And in reality, that pretty much wraps it up. So if you like this video, do me a favor and spike the like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. Remember, click on the link in the description to get your free $25 when you sign up with Mudrex. And until next time, remember, Never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. We'll see you in the next video.